For over a decade, Abubakar Shekau spread his brand of death and violence across northern Nigeria, killing over 40,000 people and causing two million to flee. He headed the terror group Boko Haram, meaning Western education is forbidden in the Hausa language, coming to control it in 2009 after the death of its founder, Mohammed Youssef, in police custody. The group had been gradually radicalizing since its founding in 2002, but under Shekau, it reached another level. What began as sectarian crisis in the northeastern parts of the country has gradually evolved into terrorist activities in different parts of the country. Despite the Nigerian army stepping up efforts against the extremists, the violence continued and the group spread to Niger, Chad and northern Cameroon. In 2014, it kidnapped 276 girls from a boarding school in Chibok. It would take years for them to return home, and to date, more than 100 are still missing, thought to have died in captivity. In 2015, as it faced an onslaught from a military coalition of West African nations, Boko Haram would pledge allegiance to the Islamic State group, establishing itself as their regional branch. But Shekau was apparently too bloodthirsty even for them, given his use of suicide attacks not just on churches, but on mosques and markets frequented by Muslims, often using young girls strapped with explosives. The IS group named Abu Musab al-Banawi, the son of Boko Haram's original founder, to head the group, but Shekau disagreed. It prompted an internal split, with al-Banawi forming the Islamic State West Africa province. The splinter group, basing itself around Lake Chad, would ultimately prove the dominant force. Even as Nigeria's military struggled to cope with Boko Haram, ISWAP declared a ceasefire on the troops until Shekau had been dealt with.